Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Toma. I'm Candace Kelly. A Luzerne County man will stand trial for murder in connection with the shooting of five teenagers in Hazleton. One of them was killed in the shooting. A judge ruled today there is enough evidence to send Frangel Garcia Andrejar to trial for the murder of 17 year old Stanley Jimson Jr. and the wounding of four others. 28 22 Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now live from the Luzerne County Courthouse with more. Andy. Well, good afternoon, Candace and Nick, and what a day it was inside courtroom number four here at the courthouse. High drama, lots of emotion. Three of the victims testify about what happened inside that Hazelton home that night. Let's get, first of all, right to the video of Andujar as he was brought to court this morning here in Luzerne County. Investigators say it all began early on the morning of March 6th. 911 received a call about a shooting involving juveniles at a home in the 100 block of South Wyoming Street. When they arrived, they found two juvenile males with gunshot wounds inside the house. Three other juvenile males were taken to the hospital in private vehicles. Stanley Jimson Jr., 17, died from his injuries. In court this morning, three of the teenage victims testified they feared for their lives. They heard a fight break out in the house. Arguments then heard gunshots. They all ran for the back door, but they could not make it. All were hit by bullets, and they say despite the gun wearing a ski mask, they believe and they know it was Andohar was the trigger man. Now, prosecutors say those involved in the shooting are connected to two factions in the city who are connected to a series of drive-by shootings. Now, the lead prosecutor in the case says, without a doubt, this was a tragedy, but it could have been much, much worse. Here's what he had to say. The evidence shows that one person was shooting. There were 16 shell casings found, and testimony that 30 people or more were at this party in a small, relatively small house in the city of Hazleton. So, while tragic, it could have even been more tragic. Now, members of the Jimson and Andohar families were inside the courtroom. I can tell you can almost feel the tension between the two, both sitting on opposite sides of the courtroom. At one point during the testimony, especially during the autopsy report, uh, Mr. Jimson, the father of the victim, uh, broke down and uh, cried. He had to leave the courtroom. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll hear more from the three teenage male victims about what happened inside that home that night back in March. Nick and Candace. Andy, thank you.